Hi, this is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. In this video, I'm going to give you a quick overview on how to set up dynamic data queries for selected data on portals and dashboards without sharing the underlying data sheets. This is useful if you have people who want to drill down into specific data on a dashboard, to see historical data, or to enable teams to get information from datasets without having to go to the data source. I'm going to show you two different scenarios and formats that should give you plenty of ideas on how this can be applied in many other ways. And the first is a sales team chart. So here we have a sales team which has got the sales by rep across the whole year. And below it shows the sales by product for the current month. Now in this case, I want to see what the sales were for the month of July. So I'm going to enter July in the drop down, press Submit, and it says, please refresh the dashboard. So I'm going to my browser window. Now refreshing the dashboard, and you'll see it's brought back the values from July. So how's this working? So on the dashboard, what I've got, and let me just go into the edit dashboard mode. What you can see here is, in this case, I've got web content, and I've embedded the form on the dashboard. And here is just the normal chart. And it's putting back that data. And this is the metric from one of the sheets I'll show you in a second. So not going to make any changes to that. So what does that look like in reality? So the form, if I go into the form and you can see the form is just updating on the sheet below. So if we go here, I'm going to open the form. The form is a very simple one and it purely says the month with a drop down set there and submit. So if I close the form, go back in and in the form, I've got this set up. So it returns the month as selected. It gives an automatic setting of the time and date. And then this column here looks at that and using a max formula, it brings back the highest value of all the dates that it sees there. So it brings back that value. And in that case, it brings back the highest value and it enters a one. If it's not the maximum, the highest number, it enters a zero in this case. So what happens there is then that goes into your metrics sheet. At the top of the metrics sheet, again, I'm using an index match formula. It is then looking at the sheet I just showed you and it's saying, find the item with a one against it and bring me back the month number. Once you've got the month number at the top, I then have a sum if formula or some ifs formula, which then says, and it brings back the sales for that month at the top and the sales for the product at the side. Now that then creates the chart as required. Separately, it's got, I've got a separate lookup running to say, month nine equals, and if I just update that there, you can see seven July. So that is then looking on here just to make sure that is correct on that side. So that's one scenario, going back to the dashboard. So the other scenario I'm gonna show you is in a data table format. So in this format here, what I'm doing that's different to the previous one is if I go to edit and edit dashboard settings. So here, what you're gonna see is I've got this set up as a metric widget. And what I've done is I selected information from a sheet and brought it back as a table in this format. Because in this case, what we have as a scenario is we've got a property business which has got furniture in a whole variety of buildings and they've been asked to check the information on record for a piece of furniture in one of the properties. So in this case, the current one showing is ending 9.3. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna en enter a different product here, one, two, three, five, six, seven, eight, nine is the product. I'm gonna press submit. In the same way, I'm gonna refresh dashboard. And you can see it's brought back a different product here. It's now a bed when previously it was a sofa and that's the information and you can see the resident has reported as broken in that case. So I've shown you that this is a metrics table. So in the same way, there's a full 
data sheet here that that's referencing. What's happening here is the information. It is entered into the form. This is what is the metrics. This is the metrics that goes onto the dashboard. And in the same way as before, the information is entered via a form. It goes into here. The query goes into the form and you can see the blue color showed it was just updating. And it changed that from being one as the latest item to this one as the latest item. Now that's the latest item. The QR code knows to look for the item using the match, find the one with one in it. It brings back that value and below it then says, bring me back from the furniture inventory sheet, all the items related to these metrics here. And that way you have the information on the sheet and it means that multiple people across the business can reference the information on the go or wherever they are, see that information without having to go into the sheet and risk any challenges with the, that sheet and having confusion for more information that is required that they need to access. So I trust that's been useful for you to see two different scenarios and ways that you can provide dynamic data queries on dashboards or on portals for team members and people across the business to get more information that they want without having to go into the underlying sheets. My name is Rich Coles from Productive Project Solutions. Trust that's been useful. If you want to get in touch, please contact me at productive.co.uk. If this video has been useful, I've got plenty more like this, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and I'll see you on another video. Thank you.